Hello everyone, welcome back. If you are new here, I am Srinidhi V. Prabhu, first year medical student in Bangalore Medical College and Research Institute. In this video, I will talk about how to revise. Revising is one of the decisive and crucial thing for your success in competitive exams. If you don't revise properly, what all you have read in past two years will be for nothing. Your marks mainly depends on how well you revise and recollect things that you have read in past years. Don't worry and get scared if you are not remembering things that you have read long back. It's totally fine. Most of us feel the same way. Once you start revising, you will be able to recollect the things that you have forgotten. So, please revise properly. Watch till the end so you won't miss any of the important details. Don't solve the same type of questions that you are comfortable with. What I am saying is that if you are very good at a concept and you have solved a reasonable, reasonable number of questions and you are confident in that concept, it's better if you move on to other concept which you are not so good at so that you don't waste much time on the concept you are good at. I'm not saying to not solve the questions from the concept you are good at. What I'm saying is that you have to reduce the number of questions you are solving from the concept you are good at so that you can improve other concepts too. Now is the time you have to solve variety number of questions so that you can know how to approach a particular question. Interlink the same concept in two subjects that is in physics and chemistry there are some concepts which, which are common in both like atoms, thermodynamics, kinetic theory of gases or there are some overlapping between chemical kinetics and nuclear physics. So you can if you read them together you can understand them better and you can save your time. Most of the students ask me that that they have solved a plenty of questions in a particular concept. Is that enough? I would like to clear that it doesn't matter how many questions you solve. It will be of no use if you haven't understood a concept clearly. You have to focus more on understanding the concept rather than focusing on shortcuts. Even if you forget a shortcut in examination, you will be able to solve them, solve a question if you understood the concept. You have to understand the concept so that if you, if the question that you have solved while practicing is being twisted in the examination, you can solve them more effectively. While revising, you have to retrospect yourself. Like what are, what are the mistakes that you are making? How to prevent them and rectify them? Categorize each chapter based on its difficulty. Whether a chapter is difficult or moderate or easy for you to understand. You can either make a list of all the chapters and mark them or you can mark the chapters in the index of textbook, textbook itself. It's better to have a list of all the chapters by your hand so that you can keep track of yourself. Do not leave any concept whether it is difficult or easy for you to understand. You never know what might happen in examination. You may get very easy question from a concept which you thought is difficult. You may get a difficult question from the concept which you are good at and you may not be able to solve them. You can never know 100% of a particular chapter. Even if you have understood 100 concepts in a particular chapter, there may be a 101th concept which you are not aware of. So it's better for you to focus on simple and basic concept from the chapters which you think are difficult. Please don't neglect the chapter just because it is easy. Try to at least give them a minimum attention. Work on the concept which you are moderate on so that you can be good at them. As I said, 
do not leave a chapter as a whole just because it is difficult there will always be some concept which are easy in a difficult chapter you can try to understand those easy concepts so that if a question comes from the chapter you can at least try to solve them now is the time to pick up your calculation skills so that you can solve a particular question in a faster way your calculation skills will get better day by day so don't worry much about it if you are stuck in a problem or if you have any doubts regarding a question you have to leave that for a moment after you are you are done with the session and when you are in break you can think about that and clarify it so that you don't waste much much of your time remember that now is not the time for you to start a new chapter which you have never read before now you have to just focus on what you have read during your preparation time and you have to be thorough with it now is not the time for you to read from a reference book you have to stick to the ncert and follow your notes and be thorough with it if you start a new concept you will just get panic and get scared of it so please don't try to start a new concept try to revise as many times as you can more you revise more confident you will be and more marks you can score as we all know practice makes man perfect even women too don't get distracted now time is very crucial don't lose hope on yourself just have belief in yourself and you can do it for more updates subscribe to our channel and share it as much as you can so that it may reach the students who are in need of this video thank you have a great day